takes me down Go inside like when she leaves I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to So we can learn again The skin is getting round Maybe drinking night away Maybe we will not regret it You will not regret it, me Laying down under the sun Burning love cause we are young No one tells us what's done wrong Cause it's just me and you
Welcome back, Firebirds. We're here for match number two of the night. Tonight, I'm joined by the Bearded Man now. We had Deck earlier. Now we're on to Bearded Man over here for the next two matches, starting with Firebirds White versus SIUE Scarlet. Firebirds are currently 1-1 one one on the season. I'm not quite sure on the record for Scarlet here, but uh, I'm excited for a nice little Rocket League match here. How about you? Oh, I'm excited. I'm so, so excited to see this match tonight. Uh, I think the Firebirds are definitely going to started off with a bang so absolutely i'm stoked to see what they pull out here that's a nice pass there though firebirds their starters are dwizen tax evader and deck for those of you wondering and they are joined by their opposition in roby kid uh nava as well as fen so we will see who comes out on top tonight it is a best of five series Firebird starting off with the pressure. They're staying on the blue half. That's a big miss, though, by Deck. It's going to allow the momentum to completely shift as Nava tries to put one in. It's off the bar and just out, though. Deck clears it away, trying to get a little bit of space and time for his teammates to get some boost. But it is all temporary as that shot is also toward the net. Dwizen comes in this time to make the save. As the Firebird just continue to be met with an onslaught of pressure from SIUE Scarlet here. Now we got a little bit of a slow pace. They're slowing it down. Tax will come in. Dwizen was there as the bait. He gets a nice 50. He gets another nice 50. That'll go off the corner. He's going to be Tax's turn. He'll call his own number. Gets it mid for Deck, who pops it once. Tries to pop it twice, but Fen will keep it in a safe corner position there as Roby Kid goes on out there. Clears it to Fen, who's going to put it toward the Firebird net. Deck dodges the bump, and the Firebirds are back at the midfield line. Ben puts it toward the Firebird net. It's going to be a tough save for Dwizen, and he just can't quite get there. Firebirds will go down 1-0 with 3 minutes 30. Now, that is unfortunate to see. I mean, Dwizen was right there and just barely missed it. If anything, tapped the ball into the goal. Uh, heartbreaking to see, but the Firebirds did put up a really, really good fight for that entire uh, minute and a half. Absolutely. <laughs> the uh, Firebirds coming from behind now. Not an unusual story for our uh, Carthage teams today. As uh, earlier, we had Carthage Black take on North Central Tech, the Timberwolves. Uh, they did lose a heartbreaking Game 5 overtime loss. Uh, and so they have now gotten their first regular season loss in over a year. Uh, bringing their, I believe, 14 straight weeks of, uh, or 14 weeks straight uh, winning streak to a close in the regular season so they hope to regain from that in the coming weeks firebirds though they hope to regain just in game number one here as they're still down 1-0 that's going to be put mid but nava will get that away you know one thing i'm noticing right now firebirds just kind of missing on those passes like they're the person passing is able to find the teammate that was a great recovery by the wizard by the way uh but the person actually going up for the pass just hasn't quite been connecting which is leading to a lot of uh space that uh the cougars can just kind of take over and with that demo there's gonna be more space but deck will take advantage cut through and get it in with a little dodge weave and in the net firebirds will tie it up one to one that was beautiful that was textbook from deck look at this he just knows he knows he has the ball he's ready he's gonna make it the best shot of the game thus far Absolutely, as we head into kickoff number three here. Two minutes left on the clock. The Firebirds hope to get one more before regular time expires. Tax Evader trying to go for a double touch there. Instead, it'll be Deck cleaning it up there. He'll get a demo for his troubles. Two demos for his troubles. Now Dwizen's got some space to work with. He'll elect to go high. Roby Kid is able to get there, though. And pops it around Deck. Tax will touch it once to Dwizen. That's a great pass and a great bump by Deck for the Firebirds to go up. What a beautiful play by Firebirds White there. Now, I think what we can see here is Deck was lining up and one of Nava almost like was trying to block Deck from getting the ball, but left the, the goal completely open. Well, what, what happened there was uh, Deck just, instead of being there for a pass, he realized he had the opportunity to just 
And Tax Evader brings us up by two now with a nice little kickoff goal. We gotta make but sure everybody gets their chance. Anyway. Absolutely, everybody gets one here. Uh, and so Deck cut in because he knew he could bump the defender completely out of net and leave the net wide open for Dwizzin to finish. Yeah, that was great. That was great teamwork. Now, everybody having a goal for the Firebirds. Let's keep it up. Let's get every. I hope everybody gets a hat, hat trick at this point. Tax Evader, a little awkward bringing it back to the corner. Deck will clean it up for him. Now Tax will take it again. He'll get bumped off the ball though. So Dwizzin will try to get there. He gets a 50 that's put toward mid. And the shot by Tax Evader is just off there. Missed by Fen is going to lead to an open net for Deck, who brings the Firebirds up by three. This momentum is definitely carrying in. And I think, honestly, what's happening is it's just the, the, the Cougars are not in the right position for a lot of these shots. They are moving too far away from it, and they need to kind of stand their ground if they can. Absolutely. The Cougars, you know, just missing some crucial touches so far. Just being a little bit slower to the ball than the Firebirds. That's a good pass to try and get out, but once again, you just don't follow it up, and that's that's the main problem I'm seeing here as we get another shot toward net that's saved by Fem. Is the Cougars need to just start putting a little pep in their step, really, uh, because the Firebirds are beating them to just about everything so far, and it's allowing them to have, one, a bunch of pressure on the field, but since the Cougars are not moving at the speediest pace right now, the Firebirds are able to find them for demos, which really just throws off all rotations. Firebirds with a great little save there by Deck. Deck really stepping up big for the Firebirds. He'll get another save actually right there. As he tries to find Tax Evader. They try to pinch it toward the net, but instead it'll go to the corner. Nava will be the one to meet it. Gets one hit downfield. Another one there. It's going to roll down, but no Cougar is there to finish it off. Ben will try, but Deck will just take it for himself. Go up the wall, get one touch. Dwizzle will play back, and we're in the final 10 seconds of game number one here. Firebirds look to be going up in game number one here with a score of four to one, almost five to one there. Firebirds take game number one. That was truly beautiful. Now Deck having two goals and two saves. That is exactly just, that is such an impressive thing. Playing such a beautiful defense and playing such an awesome defense, or an offense, sorry. Uh, you know, having the best of both worlds, Deck is on fire right yeah, now. Deck. Hopefully we get to see that continue on into the later matches and you know tax evader and dwizen also having two one goal them both person both of them having one goal themselves um and having just a number of uh shots on goal regardless beautiful to see all around from the firebirds at this point yeah deck you know really proven to be that two-way threat during this game so far uh very interesting to see, you know, Deck normally is more of an assist player. He's not always the one commanding the offense like Tax and Dwizen are uh, this year. But, you know, if we know Deck's stepping up, then I, I think we're looking for a clean sail here for the Firebirds so far. If you're SIUE, you just got to start 50 and more shots. You know, you got you to gotta at least throw a hand up in, in terms uh, as the Firebirds are just kind of driving around you right now so you know reset you got a nice 30 second break there we're locked in for game number two firebirds are up 1-0 this is your chance to tie it up definitely and i think um at the beginning of that match the firebirds were starting off a little bit slow you know they were hitting the ball but the it wasn't the best hit you know it, they'd hit the ball but it would go the opposite direction so i think they definitely noticed what was going wrong and it fixed it right away absolutely maybe siue scarlet the cougars just take a couple minutes to warm up here uh, as we get started here, that's a nice little pop around uh, Tax Evader, but he'll put it high for hopefully Deck, who just wasn't quite in a position to respond immediately. Dwizzin instead will take it. Deck tries to turn in on it. And Dwizzin now has possession. He'll accidentally flick out his teammate. Gets around one. Can't get around two, though, as the ball will be bounced back to Tax Evader. Goes off the wall. Pop tie, and it lands in the arms of Robo, uh, Roby Kid there. As the Firebirds really haven't had to deal with much pressure on their half until that demo came through. But a great play there by Tax Evader to make sure that it's no serious problem. That's Pop tie. Dwizzin has space. Deck will be the one to take it. Deck couldn't quite get the flick up, so Dwizzin will get it instead. And it'll be cleared back toward the orange half. Not long before Tax Evader stomps on it, though. 
Ben will meet it and he'll be met by Deck in the midair. Dex got a reset off the ceiling, I believe. Couldn't quite reach the ball again though on that low boost. Nice save there by Tax Evader. Deck tries for the fake, but Java isn't falling for it. Or Nava, my apologies. I think I've said Java about five times by now. That's on me. I think me. we played about it. I think we played against a Java recently. Yeah, that or, you know, Minecraft's in my brain. You know, every two weeks it just kind of happens. You get a random Java. Uh, but Tax Evader will go off the backboard. Ben will be there, followed by Nava. Tax will get a demo. But he needs to get back, though, to help his team here as... As I say it, there he is. No problems there for him so far. Deck will now go to the sky. Blizzard will pop it around. He puts a shot on net. That'll be kicked away by Nava, though. Deck now has the chance to pass. He'll pass it to Tax Evader. Great pa patience there by Roby Kid to wait for the actual shot. Dwizen passes it off to Deck and a great back pass there. Really, the Firebirds are just doing a great job of using their space. They got a bit of a double commit there on the shot. That's going to allow for Roby Kid to take this all the way to the orange half. Tax Evader will go for the shot now from distance, and it's a beautiful save by Nava off both the posts. Tax tries to clean it up himself, but he's not quite able to, so Deck will keep it in. That's off the corner, and I think Dwizen is up for the shot and just can't quite put it through. Tax tries to keep it in. Lands a little bit awkwardly on the wall there, so it's not going to be of much use as the Firebirds are still scoreless in game number two here with two minutes left. Tax Evader goes for the shot. The bump doesn't quite work because there's still two other uh, Cougars in net. Deck tries for the redirect there off the corner. And now the Firebirds might be caught in a bit of a backpedaling situation there. Deck's able to get back. Tax is a little awkward, but it goes around the net anyway for Dwizen to take. We're going to see a shot opportunity from Fen. He just can't quite capitalize. That's popped by Tax Evader. He'll go for a shot. Not exactly placed the best there. You might want to think the Firebirds might want to start electing for a little more passes. We might see a flip reset out of Tax. Not quite. He taps it instead. Wizen 50s it over to the corner, and the Firebirds stalling for time. Maybe I, I'm not. I, they've lost their offensive pressure, but they also haven't broken on defense yet. It's very interesting to see how this game's going, as it just seems like the teams are just trading back and forth. I think they need to take a little more advantage of the space they're giving each other and take a little more control. I think once that control is taken, then the Firebirds will have a much better time flicking around and maybe finding their teammates. Because it just seems like one boom from one end of the field to another right now. Playing ping pong, tennis, whatever you may have uh, as they're just clearing it back and forth. They're always getting touches that are just too hard to really keep it close enough to follow up on. And it's just giving it the possession to the other team. Wizen has a chance now. Gets around one. Tries to follow again. Tax Evader puts a mid. Dex got a chance now. And can't quite fo uh, follow through on. Now Nava. Takes some space for the first time, but Dwizen reads it very well. This is going to leave Deck in a shooting opportunity that goes back toward the Firebird net. It's over the Firebird net now. Shot by... Nava is off now, and we may be seeing a 0-0 overtime in game number two. Wow, that was intense, and it's going to be even more intense in a few seconds. As we get started here on overtime, not our first overtime of the night. The uh, Firebirds uh, black team did go into it, I believe, twice. Especially the uh, number game number five there. We might see a double there. Not quite. Dwizzle will put it into the corner, though. Trying to look for a teammate to pass to. Doesn't have enough boost to follow through with it. And now the Firebirds are on their back feet. Roby Kid tried to go for a double tap off the wall. Deck will get it out. Grabs the mid boost and follows as he also gets a demo along the way. That's passed out mid, but a great save there by Fen. Roby Kid meets Deck. Deck 50s him. It's going to be a shot opportunity. Nava gets it out. Roby Kid fakes. Tax Evader up. Oh, I, I saw the vision there for the Firebirds as Dwizen tried to call him off. Deck pops it high. Follows it himself. 
And now Dwizen is alone on defense. It's a tough position to be in. But Deck bails him out. Very nice job of Deck getting back after being stuck with zero boost upfield. Great first touch. Great second touch. Great third touch, and it's all the way through. The Firebirds take game number two with a great air dribble by Deck there. Oh my goodness. That is a, such a beautiful shot, a beautiful play. That is what we like to see in Rocket League. That was just, that was, that was beautiful. It was Fire great. White taking advantage of all that space finally, controlling the ball. Deck once again stepping up. One save, one goal. Being that MVP for the Firebirds so far as they hope to sweep in the next match. That was like a ballet, a display of ballet, you know, the Swan Lake. Just, <laughs> it was elegant. The music was playing. There was just such a good lead up and then just pure celebration at the end. It was, wow. That might be a high, that's going to be the highlight reel. I know that. Absolutely. You know, we're, we might see that one posted on TikTok later. Uh, <laughs> as Deck hopes to lead his team. 2 or 3 0 victory against SIU SIUE. Uh, my apologies. We uh we have a scrim set up against SIUC on Tuesday. So getting getting the two of them mixed up has been happening all night for me. It's okay. It's one letter off. I'm sure it's I'm sure they're all gonna be very mad at us if they're watching. Oh, I'm the stream, sure, yes. You gotta understand, there's they, it's literally like one sound. One phonetic sound. Yeah, absolutely. You know, props to Nava though on SIUE six saves as oh, the yeah. total nava was just popping off that entire match i think one of the main reasons why it was a it was an overtime it led to overtime because nava having so many beautiful saves like the firebirds definitely are gonna have to work around them uh, for sure as we head into game number three here firebirds on match point they're up 2-0 in the series Roby Kid tries to get it started here for SIUE. He gets around one, but there's no follow through. Dwizen now has a little bit of space to work with. Very good job, good pass, and it's off the post and not quite in. Tax tries to force it through though. He's getting bumps. It's off the post again. The shot saved by Nava and Roby Kid. Just go in. <laughs> Very well played though by the Firebirds as they are recognizing that space now. I think that's maybe what they were talking about throughout the uh, entirety of that uh, little break in between rounds. Deck now taking his time. He's got low boost to work with. That's gonna set it up for Tax though to now have a little bit of space. He'll go off the ceiling and that's down middle for Dwizen who's gonna go off the wall. That goes toward mid and Roby Kid will clear it downfield. Firebirds may have overcommitted just a bit but Tax makes it back on the goal line. Tax there again. Passes it off to Deck, who can't quite get the touch, so Tax will take it himself. Gets the touch. It's going to the back wall, and it's saved away. Dwizen and Tax a little slow to get out of there, so Deck will buy time with a little clear to the backboard. Firebird's doing a great job of extending the pressure right now. Roby Kid, no boost to work with. It's all for show here with the fakes. Buys time for his team to get boost and space. Dwizen gets faked out there by Nava on the challenge, but ultimately it works out as he bumps one. Dex tries to finish and it's just off the post, but the shot by Tax is good. Good and right. This this team, I, 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 so many times, I'm speechless at this point. We see them set each other up for so many amazing goals, but also have those moments where they're having their own goals that are just beautiful, like, I, like we saw with Dex. It is amazing to see a team work well, so well together and set each other up. Yeah, no, that's one I think uh, the biggest plus to Firebirds White is they they are, in my opinion, the best team at finding finding each other for passes out of uh, our three Carthage teams here. Taximator will go to the wall. He's got room to work with. He's gonna pass it right down to Deck, who's gonna try and force it through. Twizen's far back though, unable to get there. So now it's Dwizen's turn. He gets a nice 50 and a follow through actually. Zero boost, zero problems as he skies it up for Deck who almost puts it through. Tax might be a little too far up, but still able to make it work as he clears it back downfield. Dwizen can't quite get the touch, so it'll be Deck's ball. Deck gets a flick over one. Dwizen over another. Firebirds, the ground game is immaculate right now. Dwizen takes it, goes off the wall. And now Tax is there. That's an open net if Tax can get there. But a great save by 
I believe it was Nava in net. Now Fen, able to make the transition. Blizzard will be there to meet it. It gets around him. But Dex got some space now. Nava will pop it away and say, no way, sir. Robikin now. Can't quite get the touch he's looking for. So Dwizzle will pop it over two. One to beat, and Nava's not going to be beaten. You don't get six saves in game number two just to be losing a 1v2 scenario. Ben takes it to the corner. Tax puts it right back in. This Firebird's pressure is an onslaught right now. 50s to the other corner. Now Dwizzle will be there. You got to... Excuse me, you gotta think if you're uh, the Cougars, you're just thinking, man, where do they stop? And this might be where, but instead Tax is up quicker than everyone else. And gets the follow-up save, and now the gist misses the opportunity. That's gonna be pinched toward net again. Leave it for Dwiz in there, who's gonna shoot it right to Fed, and that's gonna be an open net. And the Cougars capitalize. That was unfortunate to see, and I think right, I think we can see at this moment, none of the Firebirds had boost. I don't think that any of them did at that point. Uh, it might have had some miscommunication there. Everybody yeah, thinking I think somebody there was, else a, was, there was a missing of goal line communication there. I believe Tax went for it when Deck thought it was his ball or vice versa, which left Wizen in an awkward spot where he was third man, so probably didn't even assume he had to go. Uh, now that's pinched right back to the Firebirds. It actually works out as a back pass toward Wizen. He's going to get a 50 and a shot opportunity for Tax. Can't quite put it in. Ben will take the ball now. He'll be met by Deck, and Blizzard will pop it up. For Tax, who 50s it. Firebirds all back off the ball, though. And that's right in front of the Firebirds' net, and Roby Kid will score it with 45 left on the clock. You know, I think this one was just an outplay by the Cougars. I mean, they were setting each other up. They were, out, they were in position properly, and the Firebirds were just not ready for it. So hopefully we can see the Firebirds kind of regroup and uh, stop that from happening. Yeah, they got up under a minute to get back on the board again, and it's not looking good with that kind of touch from Fen. Firebirds kind of running into each other a little bit. It looks like Deck and Dwizzen are gonna try. Now it's Tax, who's got a shot toward net, but that's Nava's save once again. Nava clears it downfield, 20 seconds left. And the Firebirds will go down by two off of a brilliant save and ultimately a transition by Nava there. You know, I think it, they might have gotten a little bit too cocky after those uh, amazing goals. And now it's like they're just too confident in the sense of they're not playing defense. You know, they, there were so many... The, the goal was completely open at that point. So um, I don't blame the Cougars for taking that opportunity. Hopefully the Firebirds are going to take a step back and be like, oh no, we need to uh, keep the, keep winning and not, uh, not let them get any more goals. That is always the goal there, you know? We need to keep winning and not give up more goals, but it's not happening right now, as Nava will get another one for the Cougars, as the Firebirds... Firebirds White once again notoriously falls into their habit of not closing out a game three when up 2-0. As it seems like we will be heading into game number oh, yeah. four here. Now, if the Firebirds are able to get three goals in this quick succession, uh, that'll be rather impressive. And game number four. I don't. I think uh, the Cougars definitely came back. They had really good plays, but also I think it was the Firebirds just not playing, not having that communication. You know, thinking that somebody else is in the goal, and you know they're they're taking their own uh, path, thing saying, okay, I can play the ball at this point if my teammate has me covered, and all three of them are thinking that, so it just does not end well. Um, the Cougars having some amazing shots and honestly it was just all of those goals were like pretty much open nets yeah really Nava just stepping up for the Cougars right there two goals one assist so part of 75% of the team's goals and literally just about half of their saves as well uh, talk about a one man army Nava is the name of it right now yeah I think the Firebirds having um, 11 shots like playing very aggressively initially but then uh, the the Cougars were able to retaliate and bring that aggression back to their goal, and the Firebirds were just kind of like not used to it at that point. They were too too confident in their own skills, and they need to kind of take a step back, like I said. And hopefully for this match, they're going to play a lot more passively, a lot less aggressively, a lot 
uh, fewer double commits, you know. They're going to be having making sure somebody's in goal at this point. It's a wake-up yeah, I think the overcommits are just the biggest thing for the Firebirds here. As we head into game number four here, they're up 2-1 in the series. They hope to close it out here. Paxivator will start with the clear down field. We see a demo there by Tax on Roby Kid, but Ben will dribble it right around two Firebirds and Demo Deck along the way. So that's gonna be an opportunity here for Fen to score. Dwizen can't quite get it offline, and the Firebirds go down 1-0. That might have been another boost situation where Dwizen just had nothing in their tank, and uh, the Firebirds are gonna need to be very, very careful with that. They're gonna need to definitely keep in mind their that, yeah, hey, I if think, I have uh, no boost, I can't do anything. I think a main problem there was Dwizen went right up off the corner of the goal there instead of being able to cut right back in, so he was left in a very awkward position. Deck's going to get it right back, though. Deck, As Deck goes 1-1. Go. Who else but Deck today? How many? I think Firebirds. I think Deck's at, like, five goals tonight. Maybe I six? think it's about four, yeah. Four? Oh, okay. That was off. I can't count. Four, it's... maybe five. Hey, I could be wrong. You know, I've let's, wrong call, let's meet in the middle and say ten. Deck has ten We'll meet in the middle and say ten. I agree. As the Firebirds continue to kick off number three against the Cougars here in game four. Another demo attempt on the net. That's going to allow Deck some time off the ceiling. Can't get the follow-up touch. Lands on it. Oh, my gosh. And Tax almost found something special there. Twizen now has a chance. Gets over one. That's going to the backboard. I don't know if RoboKid's got the read. Dex got the shot, and it's saved by Nava right now. It is Nava and the Cougars versus Deck and the Firebirds here in game number four. Unstoppable force in Deck, meaning that immovable goal line object in Nava right now. We'll see who can get past each other first as we are moving into about three minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Firebirds. Touch one away from the net. And they're just stuck there as Nava will put it through for the Cougars. Three minutes, 26 on the clock. Firebirds all just kind of hesitating there. No one in the correct position ultimately leads to a goal. I mean, it did look like Tax Evader did try and zoom in and get a last second save, but it just was a miss at that point, you know. Just short of the ball. Just shy of it as the Firebirds now leave their net completely open and Nava will get another one off the goal off the gate it's, what happened here yeah the firebirds were just not in the goal they were double committing there i think deck was just getting deck boost. was upfield getting booed yeah firebirds need to go back to their fundamentals they need to start focusing on those rotations and the rest will come with it they got they got plenty of time to still score two more uh but they do need to start getting uh, at least a little bit in better shape right now. Deck 50s into Nava. Deck trying to bump Nava. Firebirds trying to re recognize that maybe Nava's the biggest threat here. But as I say it, we might get a double touch. Double touch, not by Roby Kid, but a goal indeed by Nava. I think Nava is actually at probably about 10 goals at this point, and. Um... At this point, I don't expect them to be st uh, stopping anytime soon, so the Firebirds really need to pick it up. Three minutes on the clock, three goals to get back if you're the Firebirds. Tax takes it to the roof. Grabs boost and exits. Nava now going for a shot. We got to start challenging that just a little bit sooner. Wizen trying to pass out. Does not find his man, though. Pops it once. Tax is going to be beat to that ball. Net is open. And might have just been saved by Roby Kid because there was a bump on the goal, goal line save. Tax now with a shot opportunity. Oh my gosh, that was just textbook by the Firebirds there. Dwizen pops it off the wall, passes it right down to Tax. You know, I saw them make this in their warmups. They made this shot a lot in their warm-ups there. And, you know, it's good to see that practice transfer right into game time scenario. You call it textbook, but I say tax book. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are into kickoff number six, seven here. Firebirds only down by two now with two minutes left. Just one goal per minute is the goal here. Haha, -ha, I'm funny. As Deck goes to Dwizen, 
Back to Dak, who can't quite get the touch. Roby Kid pops it high. Tax stuck in no man's land now. Just barely gets it off the goal line there. Dwizen pops it up. Tax is nowhere to be found. Shot over to the left side for Fen here. He's got no boost. So Deck can force that toward the middle. It'll be clanged away by Nava though. Dwizen tries to just put it on net. Just can't quite get the touch he's looking for as Fen goes to the sky. Deck challenges. A minute 30 on the clock. Still need two. That's off the wall and toward the Firebird net, but Tax will meet it this time. Cleared right to Roby Kid, though. Firebirds need to start finding each other on these huge transition plays or this space they're being given. Tax just tries to put it toward the net. And of course, though, it's Nava, but a mistouch is allowing Tax to get on in there and finish it off. 4 3. You know, it's those little mistakes that you gotta you gotta watch for and then use that take that opportunity yes. to get the goal and the fight, you know. Other teams have used that on the Firebirds, and the Firebirds have used that on other teams, and that is such a crucial part of this game is looking for those openings. This is a hundred percent true as Taximator tries to take it to the sky. He finds deck instead. Firebirds down by one here. Deck pops it up. This is the chance for Dwizen. He goes low. He goes high, and Tax puts it in! Top shelf! Tie ball game! Game four, score, 4-4! Four, four. 56 seconds left! It's the first time I've ever heard Rocket League be referred to as a ball game. I'm sorry, but that immediately <laughs> made me think of baseball. I'm like, what? He got a home run! Yeah, Woo! We the ball game here. Dex going off the wall. Tax pops in middle. Roby Kid tries to get it away. Novel of an even better touch. That's going toward the Firebird net. Tax gets a nice save. And now we'll take the ball. He'll pop it up. What a pinch there by the Firebirds. As that will find itself mid, I believe. Dwizen gets 50 though. It's Dex's turn. Tax will actually pinch it. Deck will already up. Dwizen up as well. That's a double commit. If Dwizen can follow it and muscle it through.